Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Amber Criscoll. Well, Thanksgiving has come and gone, and for many that means it's time to put up a Christmas tree. Gabby Guerrero stopped by a local tree farm that says today was one of the busiest days they've ever seen. A small town family started selling trees in 1970. Friday, they celebrate their 50th year in business as they kick off the Christmas season. Uh, today has been the biggest day we've ever had in one day. Larry Share started when he was just a young boy, helping his parents on the Share family tree farm. In all that time, he says this was one of the busiest he's ever seen, estimating they would sell nearly 150 trees by the end of the day. And I think that has a lot to do with the weather, has a lot to do with people being sort of locked in for a while, needing to get out. Cher says they weren't going to let COVID-19 stop them from opening this season, and he's pleased to see how well customers are following the guidelines. Our customer base understands the impact, what's going on. Even though it's outside, you know, you still got to protect everybody. And those customers are why the Cher family decided to make this year happen. And we look forward to the customers that come back year after year. They bring their families, they bring their grandkids. Sometimes three generations will come to pick out two or three trees for each of the families. And uh, that's sort of cool because we recognize them, you know, that there are customers that's been with us for 15, 20, 25 years. Those customers were happy to adhere to COVID guidelines if it meant keeping family traditions alive. It's just kind of one of those traditions that we do every year is pick out the tree together on our first day off after Thanksgiving. We like to buy local and we like to, especially this year, support local small businesses. So instead of making the trek and making the kids sit in the car for an hour to go way out, we came right down here to Shares. And Shares says it's better to buy local if you want your tree to live longer. The ones that you would get from probably a larger store come from more distributors that sometimes are even cut in October. So you have to be careful of how old those trees are because that's related to the needle retention. For the longest life, Cher says to water it regularly so it will last the entire holiday season. For 25 News, I'm Gabby Guerrero.